Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, actually today I'm going to be talking, I've done this before with a different gift that I've been given before, which was actually a Zelda hoodie, which I try to wear as often as I can, a gift for my brother. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking about uh, the shirt I'm wearing now, um, that's a gift from my in-laws. And actually, to be honest, I'm actually wearing it backwards, but just for the sole purpose of what's on the other side, and I'm trying to keep this as, you know, I don't want anything on here to be like super controversial, and it's actually a location shirt, a shirt that has like a location on it, and I've come across a lot of very controversial people. They'll see like something as simple as that and they'll get like all wacko in the head for some weird reason. I I, I don't understand it. So that's actually kind of the major reason why I'm wearing it backwards. But here, let me turn around so you guys can go ahead and see what it says. The location on this one is... Orlando, Florida, a place I personally have actually never been, but they have, and you know what? A gift is a gift, and I'm not going to exactly turn it down and not wear it just because of that purpose. It's actually very comfortable, too, so huge shout-out to my in-laws for that. Um... This is like kind of leads into the um, mindset that I kind of wanted to talk about as a whole in this video, though. That was just a good Kickstarter, but big thank you to them for that, at least. But with that being said, what I was going to talk about in this video is actually the aspect of how controversial and offensive people have been getting very recently about almost anything. And it's... To be honest, it's actually very understandable when you look into the details of it, but it's also kind of sad. It's understandable in the sense of support, supporting the person who goes through this kind of stuff, but it's sad due to the fact that these people have to go through this stuff in the first place. As a society, we're, it just it makes it feel like we're degrading from the sight of a third person party who tries to do his best to care for those around him all the time. Now, granted, I do, you know, get into arguments or, and or disagreements with individuals at times. It happens to everyone. But never have I ever created an enemy in the sense of attacking a person out of malice. Now, I have, in self-defense, kind of retracted verbally in a very, if it was any other way, it could be considered harmful, but in the ways I do it, it's usually just out of the defense of either self or those I'm trying to protect. A good example of this is actually something that happened between uh, Pink Fox, myself, and our boss the other day. Well, by the time you guys see this, it was actually like two and a half weeks ago, but as of the date this is being recorded, it was three days ago. With that being said, what happened was that Pink Fox and I were showing up to work, and she already needed to plan on talking to our boss about shifting up our, her schedule that way she could have a day off that she needed off for a vacation that was planned way ahead of time that this boss had actually as well had already approved of. And matter got worse when we got there and apparently the building right next to the building we work at a fire got started there. I I still don't know how, and as of this recording, I don't think officials have found out the cause either. 
And if they have, I just haven't seen reports of it. That being said, this fire actually brought back really bad memories for Amber, which I'm not getting into. It is not my place to talk about, especially since it's a very sensitive topic for her. But that's just a minor detail to what actually happened. What went on afterwards we show up, we start getting to work, and we're actually early. We're like 5-10 minutes early, at the minimum. And immediately our boss is already being kind of a prick. He's basically like demanding things, being very... He's basically pulling that stereotype of the boss you never want. And she went up to him, tried to talk about this scenario going on, and his response was the kind of response you should never, ever, ever, ever give to a person who's going through a really bad mindset. Because that is kind of a medical thing. It could be, for all you know, it could be traumatic. It could be something minor, sure. But it could also be very major. It could be um, something that could be impactful in the future if the person has some kind of disability and by the way, I'm being hypothetical. No, this is actually the case of what actually happened. Because once again, as I said, I'm not going to talk about those details. If you have a disability that you see that and it impacts that disability, then I mean, you can't just look at the person and go, oh, whatever, get to work. That's basically what our boss did. And at that point, being the person I am, Immediately, I stood up and <laughs> pretty much defended her. Sure, one of the major reasons is because she's my wife. However, another reason is due to the fact that I don't think it's okay to do that to your employees. Just because you're a manager doesn't mean you have the right to look down on everyone else. That's not okay. A good example of what I'm referring to is... This manager's boss actually, you know, visits on occasion. Uh, there's always a reason. It's usually a manager meeting. And this, this, our boss's boss is actually very genuine and very understanding about pretty much almost anything. We've confronted this manager before about circumstance, and immediately that particular individual, well, actually, the person is actually an area coach. Or an area manager. It depends on what company. The point is, this person oversees the generalized area, not just one specific store. That being said, it apparently was our turn, or there was a manager meeting. One or the other, doesn't matter. And Amber approached this particular area coach, and it, this area coach said pretty much the same thing that I would. That's not okay. A lot of the decisions that this manager, not the area coach, the manager, the original manager being talked about, a lot of the decisions they make are not okay when it comes to that kind of stuff at all. But they also do have points in times where they actually do abide by how a manager should be. It's hit and miss. But that derives from the main topic at hand. So this... All cumulatively going on... Combine all of what just happened that I listed in these events, the defense I gave for the re response that this manager gave will always happen for me. I will always defend somebody when it comes to like that kind of stuff. It, if it's medical, or if it's simply just ethical, unethical, and I'm there, you better pray that... If I'm there and you're in the mindset of being unethical, you better pray you don't act that way. Otherwise, you're not going to like the outcome. Now, bear in mind, my response when this did happen was me snapping. 
keep in mind, yes, they are my boss, but 80% of the time, if you do not do that, you just get bad outcomes. And uh, yes, I did snap at my boss. I am willing to admit that. However, I did it in a way where it wasn't against any kind of ethic. It wasn't against any kind of rule. What I did was more, and snapping may not be the right term, but it's more in the case of I stood up for the employee kind of thing. Or in this case, I stood up for my wife. And yes, my wife is my coworker. And sure, I will admit that the major reason I did stand up for her is because she's my wife. But... can guarantee you this. My work ethics have always stood to be if a manager does not treat an employee well, if it gets to a de certain degree, it would be further than what I did for Amber, yes. But if it did get to a certain degree, you could bet your bottom dollar I'd stand up for them and just, yes, I backlash my boss basically going, this is not okay. You don't know what you're doing kind of thing. And yeah, that is basically what I said to our boss. Not the direct words, but one of the things I said is I literally went, have you experienced blank before? If not, you have no right to act the way you do. And he, quite frankly, he didn't. Sure, he's our boss, but that doesn't give him the right to look down on us. And that's exactly what he did. He looked down on us until I lashed. After I did, change. Now, yes, admittedly, I was well aware, dependent on the individual, especially where I live, that could have put the job on the line. But the thing is, I know this industry way too well that if he tried to do that, he would not get a good outcome at all. Because nobody would agree with him. All I would have to do is go to a different store and say, hey, this happened and he'd be screwed. I wouldn't, but this is like a last minute resort that I knew was most likely not gonna happen. With that said, why do I talk about all this? Well, it cores on the idea that I will defend anybody who deserves it or who needs it. And one thing that I know always would protect me on this, at least where I live in the United States, is the Good Samaritan Law. I think it was since 1943. It was somewhere in the 40s. Um, ever since then, there's this the the law. The Good Samaritan Law has benefited those who have tried to, you know, help a person. It was originally meant to help those who would like protect those from hurting themselves to the point of casualties and lethal problems. But over time, with add-ons, I'm going to make this short because I do want to talk about the this in like a history talk type video in the future at some point. In short, everything I did to defend Pink Fox can be protected by that law. And even with that said, it's still pathetic how often I feel like it has to be done. And not just to coworkers or bosses. I've done this with other individuals who I've crossed paths with IRL outside of work. can't even give a number for how many times I've done it. Not because it happens a lot, but because it's scattered and pathetic that people act this way in general. What? It's kind of like how megalomaniacs act. Megalomaniacs are the kind of people 
who have a tendency to think they're above everyone else, and they'll keep lusting for power. Because of that lust for power, that's what makes them think they're above everyone else. And that mindset of being above everyone else spreads, not just for, to, for megalomaniacs, but to other individuals as well. And I've crossed enough of these kind of people to the point where I can at least guarantee there's been a minimum of six times where I've had to go up and stand up for another individual. And it just disappoints me. It disappoints me to see people like that. And I can guarantee this. By the time Pink Fox and I have children, if the kids ever acted this way, they would never hear the end of it. If they were treated this way, the person who did it to them would never forget the action and would regret that action. Now these kind of actions I'm referring to, if I were to verbally attack or physically attack the individual, that would be against the law. <sighs> Where I live at least. However, there are ways to like go about that where it can get it through these individuals' thick skulls that they need to change. But even sometimes then, even sometimes when that kind of approach doesn't work, there are just some people out there who just never learn and will always be that kind kind of lustful and or unwanted of action type of person. And that's what disappoints me the most. How people just can't I can't think of wording for it, so I'll just quote Depeche Mode on this line. People are people, so why should it be? You and I should get along so awfully. Now that line is actually talking about a relationship. No, that whole song is talking about a relationship between a guy and a gal, but the line itself on its own, why? Why, why do people have to get along so poorly just to get a point of just to do what needs to be done. It, it's stupid. Like, back to the example with the boss. All that should have happened was, hey, look, I'm having a hard time focusing today. Well, that's okay. I'll do what I can to help you out. End of story. That's how it should have ended. That's not what happened. What happened was that Pink Fox goes and says, he, he, Boss asks her to focus. She's, she says, I, look, because of my situation, I can't focus. Because of what's going on, I'm having a really hard time focusing. Blunt, blunt disregard for that. That's why I got so disappointed and so stern. That's probably the better term for what I said earlier. That's why I did. Standing up for another individual who's in a really bad circumstance, even during a job, that's honestly, in my opinion, that's probably one of the better things you can do nowadays. But it's pathetic how often it's actually needed when you look at the world as it's turning into. A world can't go without, a good world can't go without conflict. But the fact that the conflict has to happen to as many people as it does is just vile. Now, if I go talk about this anymore, I'm going to go on a loop, but I don't know. What do you guys think about this kind of matter? I know I kind of led into that from just simply talking about a shirt that 
was gifted to me, but this is something I knew I had to discuss. It, it, I had no questions about it, so there you go. 20 minutes on me going on a tangent about something that is just pathetic. How badly it needed to be talked about. But how about you guys? What are your thoughts on this matter? Um, I have no hate for anybody, by the way, in talking about this. I just, the actions I have hate towards, but not the people. But how about you guys? Let us know in the comments below. If you agree or disagree, you're more than welcome to say. Just try to keep it family friendly when it comes to the commentary, please. Um, I try to do so as much as I can realistically. There are times where I've had to redo um, videos like this one actually because of the factors of being vulgar because of circumstance and I don't want to showcase too much of that. But these are serious topics regardless. So, Like I said, just please try to keep it as family friendly as you guys can. Um, but if you do agree with what I have said, or you at least like what was said, make sure to give the video a like, and consider subbing to the channel, because vlogs like this, whether it's this type of topic, or different kind of discussion or rants, or some kind of educational topic, who knows, maybe you'll enjoy it. Or if you do not, in fact, kind of stuff, we also have the second videos of each day, which is a game of some sort, depending on the day. Check that out as well, or maybe you'll find one of what I'm talking about here with the discussion rant videos being here. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again once, once again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.